Okay guys, so Blender actually uses Python and as you just saw, ChatGPT actually has quite a good knowledge on Python and can write good code in Python, um, at least as far as my knowledge goes about it. And I'm going to show you guys three amazing, anim well not animations, but three amazing scripts that you can create for Blender and you can obviously with a little bit of scripting knowledge build on that, but here is the first one. And as you can see here, I said write a Python script for Blender that will delete the default cube and add a cube with an animation of scaling by 4 over 100 frames. And here it's giving me a script, it says it's a Python script for Blender that will delete the default cube and add a new cube with the animation and all of that. So I'm going to copy this code once it's done. And once we're in Blender, we can go in here to the text editor and we can say text, new, right click and paste. Once that's there, we can run script, and you'll see it has it has changed size because when we press the spacebar now, you can see that our script has worked, and it's now running a hundred frame animation, and it is actually just UV unwrapping or smart UV projecting, and as you know, that is a way that a lot of simple models get UV unwrapped is by smart UV projecting, and you can actually do that by creating a simple script in ChatGPT that will do it in one click of a button just by putting this into the script editor, and pay careful attention to the prompt I'm about to write here. And once it's done writing the code, I'll press copy code and I'll head into Blender. And we can create a new text template here. And I'll right click paste and we can run this. We can actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the default cube. And I'll just press shift A and we'll add in a monkey mesh or Suzanne. And we'll shade smooth, put on a subdivision surface modifier and then we'll press text run script and when I go into the UV editing tab now you'll see that all the UVs have been smart UV projected if I press undo then you can see this is what we had and this might be a better projection but this is just to show you what that script can actually do because this is for any object that you might want to smart UV project this is actually a really handy piece of text so let's just paste this in here again and we'll say run script and there you can see it is unwrapped again so that is it for the unwrapping script and then the last really awesome use case I want to show you guys is to add primitives with modifiers already on them for instance something that I think um, 3D designers use a lot is actually a plane with a subdivision on it and as well as possibly a mirror modifier but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a script that will delete the default cube, add a plane, and also add a subdivision surface modifier to it. So here is the prompt. And once we get this code, we can copy it again. Then in a new Blender file, we can actually just go back to the text editor, say new, right click, paste, and we can run this script. And there you can see it has added our subdivided plane and this has a lot of potential for adding any object with any modifier that you would like with one click of a button just by running a script rather than going through the effort of individually adding all the modifiers that you would need. If you can adjust this a little bit you can obviously fine tune how you would want your modifiers on there and all that sort of things. But that is the last script that I wanted to show you guys.